kid. I mean, the national Wayne Messmer singing the national anthem at the old stadium for a Hawks game. It's it just, I mean, Jim Cornelison's great, but I mean, it will always be Wayne Messmer and that experience for me because it was formative. Wayne Messmer at the Sox games. I know he was the Cubs PA guy, but I don't like the Cubs, so I went to Sox <laughs> games. And he was great at the he was great at Comiskey, and uh, just a, a I mean, he's just really a Chicago treasure, and he's uniquely Chicago. He has been his entire life, and this is always a fun time of the year because Wayne Messmer uh, gives a lot back to, and he goes around and he sings, offers his uh, musical stylings. Uh, at senior centers and hospitals and stuff. It just, I mean, I don't know him, but I know from his work. He's a great guy, and yeah. um, and and again, and everybody knows this too. But surviving that terrible attack 25 years ago mm -hmm. that almost cost him his life, and coming back to continue to do this great work and offer his great uh, great crooning Dan, is yeah. fun. And he's singing the national anthem tonight at the uh, Bears Vikings game. Is he? Oh yeah, he of is. course. He's, he's here he to is. warm up. That that's us yeah. first. It sounds like, a, like I'm about to get a lifetime uh, achievement. achievement award. Yeah, Congratulations exactly. behind door number two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne Mesmer, this is your life. I I, w I wasn't sure if that was you or if Amy had caught COVID. So I'm glad to know that you're in studio there. Um, so um, you know, are you taking requests or what would you like to open up with something to warm up? Uh, we can take a request if you'd like to hear the Christmas song. You yeah, well, I, oh, that. I'd like to hear the Christmas song and well, introduce yeah. your crew here because it's Wayne Mesmer oh, yeah. and yeah, friends. Yeah. On yeah. the violin, we have. Well, we're going to. Oh, yeah, sorry. There's no, uh, there's no mic. Tony, Tony Kowalkowski, who is a masterful uh, violinist and uh, also a, a maestro of his orchestra, AKO. And year after year, we would do wonderful Christmas shows, gala Christmas shows. And uh, things have gotten a little derailed. So we're, uh, we're individually out here and, and uh, getting together as a small group. So Tony will be playing violin. Okay. That would be nice. Uh, Delilah Owens, who's here uh, to sing as a as a soprano, because that's what she is, and uh, that will be great, marvelous uh, voice and a wonderful person. And then we have Bobby Schiff at the keyboard, and uh, Bobby and I work together quite a bit, and uh, so this will fit like a glove. Yeah, take it away. All right, All right just, uh, just and just let uh, give Amy a signal when you want to play her in. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir and folks dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe will help to make the season bright. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child is gonna spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly. And so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from one to 92. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you.
that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child is going to spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly. And so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from 1 to 92. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Thank very you, nice. Lover. Yeah, very That's nice. Gorgeous. Yeah. It has uh, a nice Chicago connection, too, with uh, Nat King Cole recording it and mm. uh, written by uh, uh, Mel Torme, a Chicago guy, and uh, also Robert Wells. Yeah. Pretty song. Love Mel Torme on Night Court. Yeah. Uh, that's how I know. <laughs> All right, what's your next one? Because I want to hear Delilah. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to hear from the soprano <laughs> as a former second soprano, yes. Oh, really? Oh, oh. okay. Well, that was a Big Ten show part. <laughs> oh, God, stop. stop. Make her no, stop. stop. <laughs> yes, just stop. No, what song will you be singing next? Um, we're going to be doing Dear Little One. This is a favorite of Tony and mine. This is the first solo that he's ever done, um, that he had ever done. Yeah, professionally. professionally. <laughs> I got called to do a midnight mass. Okay. Uh, and I was in high here, school. Here, come on over here real quick. This is Tony. Hi. I was in high school, and I was called to do a midnight mass at a little church that the uh, Mayor D. Daly Sr. attended. And the organist there introduced me to this uh, lovely um, little carol. It's called Dear Little One, How Sweet Thou Art. So it's uh, stuck with me since then, and I hope you enjoy it. It's a very cute and tender little carol. Mesmerized. Beautiful voice. Hey, How long nice have you nice all energy. been together, by the way? That that was great. Wayne. How long have what we been together? Yes. Six minutes. Five, six minutes? No. Yeah, <laughs> since we got off the elevator. You know. <laughs> all right. Well, well rehearsed. Good. All right. And then I normally you could uh, perform at the Copernicus Center. And last year we normally would we've had you in every year for I think the past ten years, but last year because of COVID you called into the show, my Right, yeah. And sang. Well, you know, whatever it takes. Uh-huh. You know, I'm Santa's little helper. <laughs> so I know, I it's just hear, nice to, to really to get together. Dan, what were you saying? I, I want to hear you two uh, do Time to Say Goodbye, like you be, you be Bocelli and she be Sarah Brightman. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, right. so just, just, yeah, first yeah first I know. It's some homework. <laughs> it's a homework assignment for next year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be nice. All right, what's your next song? I know you want to close out with Silent Night, and the producers White will tell Christmas. us when. I think, yeah, White Christmas. Do White uh, Quis- Christmas? Sure. Christmas. Can we do White Christmas and Silent Night? Do we have time for both? Yes, we do. Find out. Okay. All second endings, boys. Okay. 
I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten And children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write. May your days be merry and bright, and may all your Christmases be It's yeah, the Reader's it's Digest nice. version. Very, very nice. Yes, I understand. Right. That, you'll do the whole, the whole uh, oeuvre when you're for the Wayne Mesmer and Friends Christmas special. The, oh, for sure. The, the three-hour ga- primetime gala. gala. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, take me out to the ball game. Can we, can we get no. something other than Christmas? The- Just to mix it up. All right. No, that's fine. All right, let's You're turning see. into a heckler now. Yes, Dan, <laughs> sorry. behave yourself. Yeah, sorry. Everyone's favorite. This is so the It's the one south Christmas. side in me. Yeah. Song, right? Silent Which one Night? is that? Silent Night. Yeah, apparently Silent Night is the uh, favorite one. Written in 1818. So this is uh, by Franz Gruber, right? Written in Austria. Yes. In, well, there you go. All right. Ready? I guess we are. call my dad now no. and she moved. I was uh, looking for the tip job. And- <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know, what an angelic voice. And uh, Delilah's isn't bad as well. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Wayne Mesmer and friends, wh- where are you guys going to be uh, throughout the rest of the season? Are there places people can see you? Or is online there, even? Online or on YouTube? Or do you have any CDs for sale? Or 
A CD is old, and I sound like an old lady. Maybe some <laughs> eight-track tapes. Yeah, I, mean, I have a yummy CD called "So Lucky to Be Loving You," which is a nice, romantic, uh, delicious stuff with uh, Judy Roberts playing piano, um, and a, a, an in, a single also, which is called uh, "Doesn't Seem Like Christmas Without You," which we've all played uh, in the past, and uh, written by a dear friend of ours, Joy Smith. Uh, and uh, the Bears game tonight. Yes, so there you the have. Yeah, there, so there you go. Mm-hmm. All right, well, crowd. you know, Dan, we do have. Yes. Do you have a short song that you could play us out with? Oh, like a two-minute song. I don't know, Jingle Bells. Uh, <laughs> anybody? Or am I putting you on the spot bells, here? I'll be home for Christmas. Oh, uh, I'll be home for Christmas. Home for Let's Christmas. go with that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And put some feeling into it this time, Wayne. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm not wearing right. my good singing shoes. <laughs> Wayne Mesmer and friends who we're going to be playing. Um, what is it? I'll be home. I'll be home for Christmas. Yeah, let's all do the same song. B flat? Yeah. Just a concept. <laughs> Let me start again. <clears throat> From the top. <clears throat> that was cute. I'll be home for Christmas You can count on me Please have snow And mistletoe And presents on the tree Christmas Eve will find me where the love light gleams. I'll be home for Christmas if only in my. Yeah, yes, wonderful, wonderful. Wayne Mesmer and friends, uh, what a what a treat it was for to have you guys in studio. Uh, pleasure, really, it was fun. And um, uh, break a leg at the Bears game as always. And uh, you know, happy holidays to you and your families. Thank you so much for coming in. Absolutely, and it's spread fun. some holiday. I think you've actually warmed Dan Prof's heart, That's and a, that is a big something. accomplishment. It's a Christmas oh. miracle. Yes, and thanks to Bobby <laughs> Schiff on piano, Delilah Owens, angelic voice. I love it, and Anthony Kalikowski, otherwise known as Tony, the violinist. So thank you so much. All right, coming up on Chicago's Morning Answer, maybe we should have Stephen Ross Pomeroy, the editor of Real, RealClearScience.com offer his commentary on science in Carol form yes. just to continue the thing. Well, we'll see if he can do that at 808. But now let's head into the newsroom. Here is Mike Scott. A carbon monoxide leak at an Evanston church leaves six hospitalized. Deadly Chicago fire is under investigation. A Geneva man charged with trying to murder a family member. Bears host the Vikings on Monday Night Football and the Bulls knock off the Lakers. WIND Chicago News Time is 8 o'clock. He says they'll keep voting until they get something done. I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News. That's from the Senate.